and welcome to Two Riders, and this is part two of the uh, German military Bundeswehr Einmann Pocken Type 3 24 hour ration. Uh, the previous episode, we did a little over half this ration with two of us eating it as, uh, uh, as lunch. Yeah, we did the cassoulet, we did the pasta with beef. We were going to do the package of, um, it was a can, it was a badly dented can that was three years past the Best Buy date, of a uh, fruit cocktail. I opened it up, it looked good, it smelled good. But it was a dented can three years past. And even though there are people, uh, vain people, who have doctors inject their faces with botulism toxin to temporarily paralyze their nerves in their face so they don't have wrinkles. I was unwilling to try to ingest botulism, potential botulism toxin, because it's a toxin. And it can make you very ill or worse. So today we have two cans, and these are not dented. Uh, we've got a ham pate and a mixed pork pate. We tried these salty biscuits last episode. They were very stale. We'll open them up and taste them again. but. In the meanwhile, I've got here some um, German-style bread from Lidl, our local Lidl, which is a German-owned market. I've got sweet biscuits. I've got peach jam. We've got uh, lemon isotonic drink with a 250 milliliter serving of water right here. And we've got some tea and some coffee. And uh, for this meal, my wife is going to be joining me, and we're going to... Uh, because we both like pate. We're going to eat the pates, we'll eat the sweet biscuits, and we'll see, we'll give the salty biscuits another try, but they were uh, very, very stale last time. So, without further ado, here comes the intro, and then we'll be right back. Okay, while the beverages are getting ready, the first thing we're going to do is some of our peach jam, which was a bear to open, onto our sweet crackers. Okay. The lid on the peach jam was just wanting to give me a fit. I don't know why, but... Got coffee. That coffee is fine. That's the peach jam. It's really good. I did watch another reviewer talk about it, and he said it was one of the best jams you ever had in a uh, military ration. So, I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Here's looking at you with the lemon flavored isotonic. And the tea. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah, the isotonic's not bad, actually. Last time I tasted some that my son was drinking, it didn't come across all that great, but this one's actually kind of like a enjoyable, uh, not quite a lemonade, but certainly better than a Gatorade. Now, most of these foods have been packed in Spain. Here's the cuckoo clock on the clock in the back. Kind of a late breakfast. And it was, in fact, uh, this is, the jam is also manufactured in Spain, so. Huh? 
the NATO countries seem to have uh, started working with each other, sorting foods from other countries instead of just having uh, one military make everything in-house in-country. So next is our, I'm not even going to pronounce it because I'll probably mispronounce it, but it's our uh, pork pate. Try. Well, the little jams are nothing if not consistent. Mm. Nice looking pate. I'm going to use the same knife I was using on the, uh, on the jam. And a nice big slather. Some salt, some pepper, good uh, mixed pork flavor. That is a very, very good sandwich spread. The Germans love their pork. The Spanish do too. Um, Spain is famous for the air-dried, black-foot, <clears throat> black-footed uh, wild pig uh, ham that hangs up in every restaurant and every grocery store you go to in Spain. Iberian. They know their way around some pork. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Very good. These both these cans are going to be. Pretty mm -hmm. quickly. All right. I'm not going to record the entire meal, but here, nice easy pool. You don't need a P38 or another can opener. And the ham, as you might expect, it's a little bit more of a homogeneous color, so there's not different parts of the pork. It's creamier, uh, with a softer texture. I'm sorry, this is what now? Ham pate. And that was what? Pork pate. Isn't that the same thing? No, it had liver, things like that. All this has is ham. Yeah. So more muscle meat, no organ meat. I guess you could <laughs> call this pate an organ grinder. Wah, wah, wah. Mmm. <laughs> very, very melt in your mouth texture. Delicious hand flavor. Europeans have a lot of a lot of canned uh, meat products in their rations, and this is these are two really really good ones. Mm. Not a not a tough day in the field, food wise. If this is what you've got, you might be wondering how this is different from spam. Spam is much saltier. This actually tastes like meat, like an actual ham slice. In Spam, usually you, you'd uh, slice it and heat it up in a pan. Uh, this is very spreadable. Well, the only thing we've got left is the salty biscuits. I might just leave them. Still got some other bread. Chewing gum at the back end, but 
the isotonic, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, they give you lots of this. And um, if you're burning up a lot of calories and putting out a lot of sweat, you got to keep your uh, electrolytes going. And give the tea a thumbs up. Good. If you put in all of the sugar that it gives you, you can get it all the way to southern dessert tea. All right. I think I've got one more tea in here, a couple more sugars, one or two more coffees, but all in all, it's a 3,447 calorie 24 hour meal. Um, it was just too much to want to do it in one day and too much to, you know, I'm not, I'm not toting a 40 pound ruck, so I'm not burning up enough calories to eat all this in one day. So it's been uh, two meals for two with a little bit of some stuff left over. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit like, please subscribe. And if you've got comments, leave a comment because I try to answer all of them. Might not get to it the same day. Sometimes I don't see them right away. But uh, thanks again for tuning in and check back for more fun later.